Hello, this is Toby the Roby from NerdSociety.com. Here to give you another tutorial in the Warcraft 3 World Editor. I want to talk about some of the basics of the uh, variables, um, how to store value in variables, and um, how to remove gold from a player. Uh, you may think that you don't have to use variables or you know variables to remove gold. You actually have to. You can add gold uh, to a player. You can't remove it without variables. And uh, uh, we're going to do that now. I'm going to show you how to do it. Just go to the trigger editor. Delete that guy. Oops. Delete. And just create a new trigger. Uh, call it um, player red. Go. No, 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 no. Player red. Remove gold. There you go, and we're just gonna. Mm, of course, you can use your custom event. Let's say you want when a unit enters region, you want you wanted to remove his gold. I'm just gonna set. Uh, you know, you can use any, any variable, and I uh, know, sorry, any event. Uh, this is just. I'm just gonna do an event. I'm just gonna take. Uh, player chat message. Of course, you can use any event you want. It'll work anyway. Uh, so, player red types his message text. Uh, gold. If he types gold in an accept match, no conditions, action. And now, we're going to do the variable part. The advanced part, pretty much. Um, set variable. Click on the variable. Add variables and create a new variable by clicking there and just call it player oops, player red current gold and just go to find i and integer integer we need, that's a type variable type by the way uh, and integer is like storing i can show you now actually uh, player red current gold okay uh value and you see here, you can click on the function, fmac, uh, uh, and um, you can choose any value you want, you know, here level and stuff like that. But I'm just going to take player property, um, player red, current gold, exactly what we want. So, just keep it just this way, perfect. Now, we, now um, the player red, current gold equals players, player red, current gold. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so now uh, the uh, variable has the uh, amount of you know player red gold, so we can remove it. Just watch now. Okay. Now we have to remove the gold and set variable. The same variable equals. Just take a thematic or a thematic and. First, the first value is one plus one. You take value and the same, so it be it, its own value and minus uh, your number. You see? Uh huh. You get it? Okay. Good. I'm just gonna take uh, five hundred and minus. So uh, when he chat, take that chat message. He will, you will him remove him for uh, remove five hundred gold from himself really smart move uh, anyway uh, that's how you do it uh, and now I'm gonna show you how to store a unit in a variable it's pretty simple also just minimize that and go to the region for that okay and just find go back to the trigger editor create a new variable Some variable uh, trigger of course and just call it um, foot store uh, um, so, uh, I'm just gonna you know store a footman in a variable pretty simple um, and kill him by the way <laughs> uh, events click you find unit unit enters region which region that region okay okay and condition, um, um, you don't, you know, if you want it to be a footman, you know, a specific unit, 
you have to do this. Uh, just click uh, go to unit unit type comparison. Uh, unit type of entering unit. Okay. Uh, equals to footman. That's what we want. And action. Create a new action. This action will store footman uh, in a variable. Uh, set variable. Variable. Uh, edit variables. Create a new variable. And that will be footman. Whoops. Footman. And our uh, you know, unit underscore footman. And uh, uh, you can't use space. You have to use underscore, by the way. Um, and just find unit or unit type. Um, unit type only stores like um, okay, the unit stores the exact unit. Uh, okay, let's say you have a hero. If you store the unit, you will like and you will revive revive that unit. He will be revived, you know, with the exact same values. You know, the same items, uh, the same experience. But if you take unit type, uh, you only store the type unit. You know, only the, f the type footman. You know, the exact unit, not the exact unit, only the type. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take unit. Okay, uh, unit footman equals value, and uh, it's entering unit. All right, all right. So now you stored, you know, a footman in a variable. Pretty simple. Uh, and now we're gonna to kill that unit. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty evil today, so I'm gonna kill it. Uh, and kill, 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 and uh, just take time. I believe. Of course, you can. This is just you can choose any event. It'll work anyway. Uh, so, uh, loops game time is ten. Seconds. Or actually, uh, yeah, just ten seconds. Of course, this won't work very well because you know uh, it's a chat string. So if he chats, you know, says that uh, later than ten seconds of game time, it won't work. Uh, so okay, I'm just gonna take periodic events. So I'm, I'm totally sure that it's working. Every fifth second, he's gonna kill that unit. Okay, action. And unit. And kill. Not remove, not explode. I want to kill. Or maybe I'm gonna explode it. <laughs> and and now you don't have to choose any of this. You can just. Prepare. Unit. Alright, there you go. And you kill. Footman. And this is useful, you know. If uh, the unit doesn't enter a region, or it's not a specific unit, you don't, you don't just have, you know, stored in a variable. You can just kill it, you can do anything with it, it's awesome. Okay, uh, that was about it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and go to nerdsuicide.com if you want to see Harris movies, or just want to check out the website. And uh, that was Toby the Roby speaking. Uh, that's about it, and goodbye.